The existing banking union between Scotland and the rest of the United Kingdom has proved durable and efficient. Its foundations include a single prudential supervisor maintaining consistent standards of resilience, includes a single deposit guarantee scheme backed by the central government, and a common central bank able to act as lender of last resort across the union, also backed by the central government. These arrangements help ensure that Scotland can maintain a banking system whose collective balance sheet is substantially larger than its GDP. The euro area has shown the dangers of not having such arrangements, as well as the difficulties of the necessary pooling of sovereignty in order to build them. An independent Scotland would need to consider carefully how to develop arrangements with the rest, with the continuing United Kingdom, arrangements that are both consistent with its sovereignty and sufficient to maintain financial stability. The Scottish Government has stated in the event of independence it would seek to retain sterling as part of a formal currency union. All aspects of any such arrangement would be a matter for the Scottish and UK parliaments. If such deliberations ever were to happen, they would need to car consider carefully what the economics of currency unions suggest are the necessary foundations for a durable union, particularly given the clear risks if these foundations are not put in place. In short, a durable, successful currency union requires some seeding of national sovereignty. <laughs>